In this video, we're going to prove by induction that n factorial is greater than 10n for all integers n greater than or equal to 5. OK, so first of all, we need to prove true for n equals 5. OK, so the left-hand side, we need 5 factorial. Now, 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. There is a factorial button on your calculator. It's just above the x to the minus 1 button uh, on a Casio class whiz. So F, uh, 5 and then shift and then that button gets us the 120. The right-hand side is 10 lots of 5, which is 50. 120 is greater than 50, so it is true for n equals 5. OK, step 2. We want to assume true for n equals k. So k factorial, we're going to assume, is larger than 10k. Step 3. Prove true for n equals k plus 1. So k plus 1 factorial. Now, k plus 1 factorial is, the, is k plus 1 times k times k minus 1 times, times k minus 2, etc. Um, so actually, this is the same as k plus 1 times k factorial. Now, the reason why that is, if I, if I had 5 factorial, that's 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. But that is just 4 factorial. So you could write 5 factorial as 5 lots of 4 factorial in much the same way as I've done there. OK? Now, k plus 1, if k is going to be greater than or equal to 5, then k plus 1 is going to be a positive integer. So I'm multiplying k factorial by a positive integer, which makes it bigger. So actually, uh, this is going to be greater than k plus 1 times 10k. It's just like multiplying both sides of the inequalities by a positive constant. So this is k plus 1 times 10k. So it makes sense that that is larger than that. So expanding this out, we get 10k squared plus 10k. So what I want to show, I want to show that k plus 1 factorial is greater than 10 lots of k plus 1. So I want to write this with this 10 lots of k plus 1 involved. So I've got this 10 lots of k plus 1. So 10 lots of k and 10 lots of 1 but I want this to be these two lines to be the same, so I'm going to have to have another 10k squared added on here. This is giving me a 10 lots of 1, but I don't have a 10 there, so I've got to take away 10. So now these two lines should be precisely the same. And if this is greater than 0, then this is clearly greater than 10 lots of k plus 1. So that's the plan to show that. So remember, k is greater than or equal to 5. So 10k squared minus 10 equals 0. If I'm to solve that, OK, well, actually divide through by 10, I get uh, plus or minus 1, don't I? OK. So k is plus or minus 1. k is going to be greater than or equal to 5. So... 10k squared minus 10 is greater than 0 for all integers k greater than or equal to 5. So that showed that this is greater than 0, and so this statement is correct. And I've done it. So as it is true for n equals 5, and if true, for n equals k, then true for n equals k plus 1. So it is true for all, um, for all n greater than or equal to 5. And so that completes...
the proof.